That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about everything, everywhere, all at once. The second film directed by uh, the directing duo known as The Daniels, uh, Dan Kwan and Daniel Scheinert. Uh, previously, together they directed Swiss Army Man in 2016, uh, starring Daniel Radcliffe and Paul Dano. Uh, they're also known for directing a few music videos, including uh, Turn Down For What. Uh, and Daniel Scheinart in 2019 directed his own film, uh, The Death of Dick Long. Uh, but here we are uh, with their newest feature, which premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival shortly before A24 is releasing it in theaters uh, March 25th, 2022. Do you want to talk about... Do I know... So I've seen Swiss Army Man. Yeah, and I remember that you also quite liked it with Daniel Radcliffe as the corpse that mm -hmm. is moving around with flatulence. Anyway, the basic, the very basic story of this movie is... There's a woman named Evelyn Wang, played who by Michelle Yao, runs a laundromat, and she lives in a world where we find out there is a multiverse. So one day she is approached by her husband, who's occupying a different space and time, to tell her a version of her husband from another, uh, a version of her husband from a different. I don't know how you refer to. The multiverse, like another dimension, or his dimension is given a name called the Alpha Verse. No, but I mean, what do you call the different dimension, like the the different universes, dimensions? Well, each is its own universe, like uni as in one. Okay, so an alternate version of her husband shows up and tells her that your daughter, an alternate version of your daughter in another universe, is going to destroy the world. So you have to stop her. And this version that we're speaking to is the strongest version of yourself. So you're going to be equipped with the tools to bounce from one universe to the other to gain the knowledge and the skills to take care of her. And ultimately, she does stop her daughter, that version of her daughter, by basically talking to her and, and the family about all the things. Yeah. That's a very basic story. Sure. Yeah. That's, is that not correct? Yeah, that, that's right. That's a very... Um... It's, it's a very complicated... It's almost like the Google Translate version. Well, it's a very complicated, involved story. It is on the surface, but when it comes down to it, it is more of a, a very personal journey for this woman. You love this movie. I love this movie. I cried several times in this movie and laughed a lot. Uh, it has moments that are so silly and stupid, but it it's also part of kind of allowing us to it, it, it's laughing at itself as well well why don't we do this to make the have this what did you love about this movie oh michelle yao for sure okay uh, is excellent well and then uh playing her husband is kihi kwan uh who his voice i haven't seen him since he was a child in, in the goonies and of course indiana jones in the temple of doom and his voice and persona is very much intact and just listening to him on screen i was kind of uh projected into this kind of nostalgic bliss but this film i don't think is nostalgic uh i think it's very inventive and weird it actually starts out um with evelyn is uh maybe about to lose her uh laundromat business because of uh, uh another irs tax audit and uh, there's a uh, jamie lee curtis and i what a performance i would call brilliant as uh, this tax auditor named deirdre bobeardra this is taking place in Simi Valley. They're about to get audited again. Her father, played by the great James Hong, uh, has just uh, flown over uh, for a birthday celebration. Her daughter, played by Stephanie Hsu, has just come out, well, she's come out as lesbian and is introducing the family to her white girlfriend, Becky. Uh, and meanwhile, her husband, because uh, Waymond Wang, uh, has felt so neglected that the only way he can get his wife's attention is to file for divorce. So all of that's going on. They're at the IRS tax audit interview when a version of her husband pulls her aside and says, puts these contraptions on her ears and said, you need to go in the janitor's closet. And so we begin this kind of rabbit hole of, of splintered universes. Uh, and he's contacted her because some, think of like the Chronicles of Narnia or uh, Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. There's this, this dark power that's threatening, threatening to take over all of the multiverses. And it's a version of her daughter that's a villain known calling herself Jobu Tupaki. Um, yeah, and then, so the, the Daniels kind of give us glimpses into all these multiverses of Michelle Yao, including one version where she's playing herself, uh, and just the inventiveness and the, the fun that they obviously had with this. 
um, I, I don't know. I, I just it, it was a joy from start to finish, and I was not expecting that, I guess. When you described it originally, because I have not seen this movie, the way you described it, I thought it was a very small indie film with no sort of... Um, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, CGI. Yeah, but like, uh, yeah, like best will uh, production quality. No bells and whistles. That okay. was the phrase. The way you described it, it seemed like it wouldn't have any bells and whistles, and it was a very small movie. But, in, but to the contrary, this film has a lot of like production value. There's a lot of action. Oh yeah, I mean. So why don't you talk about that? Well, there yeah, there are a lot of oh there's. Uh, Kihi Kwan gets a really great sequence using his fanny pack as a weapon uh, in one fight sequence. But Michelle Yao, if you know her, you know, from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, uh, you know, recently from Crazy Rich Asians, she's she's an action star. Uh, so the version of herself that runs the laundromat obviously is not a fighter. So she's bouncing from one universe to the other, gaining these skills? It's called verse jumping, and that's another uh, plot point as this ver the version of her husband from the alpha verse explains to her uh th there's an algorithm uh that if you need certain skills you can jump into the the skill set of uh, another person nearby but the algorithm uh dictates you have to usually do some kind of action like eat a eat some chapstick or uh kiss so and so or put there's a scene with you know technically butt plugs uh that also uh, is cause for a lot of comedy in a lot of uh, unexpected ways. So they made you laugh. What about it made you cry? Just that it's a very human, empathetic, poignant story about this woman who's realized, you know, because it starts out, she's so upset and irritated at her husband and thinks he does things all the wrong, it, he messes everything up when really the way he approaches life and their problems actually has helped her in ways that she hasn't been able to see. Uh, and there's, you know, trauma from her childhood because she, uh, her, her father estranged her for marrying her husband who he thought was an idiot. Uh, and she's never really dealt with that. And she finds herself treating, being ashamed of her own daughter and her own daughter's love interest as her father was for her. And so it becomes, this, this denouement uh, in, uh, across the multiverses is Evelyn in her reality as the laundromat owner confronting all of these things at the same time. And then you have Jamie Lee Curtis as Deirdre, who is oddly thrown in the mix, but is also, you know, just a person that maybe needs kindness and love. And the overall message of it, while, you know, simplistic, is moving in a way that uh, it, I think has to be seen and experienced and immersed in because this is to me was a transportive cinematic experience did you go through all of your notes oh my god there is this one uh multiverse that exists where humans <laughs> evolved with hot dog fingers and therefore they have to use kind of their feet and the way that they show each other love is like by sticking these floppy hot dog fingers in each other's mouths and there's like ketchup and mustard <laughs> And Jamie Lee Curtis in that universe is in a romantic relationship with Michelle Yao. Oh my God! Just everything about that is perfect. There's there's uh, another universe that's in has in the the human life can't exist in. So that's rocks corresponding via subtitle. Um, I don't know. It's just the kind of movie that I think you fall in love with. And of course, I can see some people not uh, liking this. And maybe you have to be open in a certain way to it. Um, I love the soundtrack from Sun, Sun Lux. Uh, Larkin Siepel was the cinematographer who shot uh, This Is America, the music video for Childish Gambino, uh, as well as Swiss Army Man. Um, I don't know, just, I know you've seen Swiss Army Man and maybe aren't remembering it as well, but I, I had a similar reaction to that film and how it's dealing with masculinity and, and friendship and, and trauma and melancholy. And, and all of that is churned up in what's kind of an over it is an overwhelming onslaught it feels like that but michelle yao it, it's like being in the center of her, in the eye of the storm it's like that's where you are people often comment that they've never seen us give a movie five out of five but i think you're going to give this five out of five yeah oh wow okay yeah it's it's to well me, go ahead and say it no i think this is this i think immediately when i came home you asked what i thought and i think i think this is in my mind, the a perfect film. Okay. Uh, it was also notably produced by the Russo brothers. And I'm sure that there will be many people that, that don't think the same, but I just, uh, this, this, 
you know, every now, I think that's why we watch films is to have those feelings, you know, each to our own individual specific experiences to be transported in that way. And, and, and to me, this is very much it. And, and I think being a queer person, uh, you know, probably <laughs> I'm vulnerable to some of the subtext going on, but, you know, Michelle Yeoh's scene with her daughter with Stephanie Hsu, I think that, you know, many of us search for replacements in with experiences that maybe we haven't been able to have with our own parents and i don't know this it felt kind of like a gift all done um yeah sure oh and there's a there's a universe where she's a chef and her cohort uh played by harry shum jr also from crazy rich asians has a raccoon hiding under his hat like giving him instructions which is why he's besting her <laughs> oh it's yeah i had a really great time with this film Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. And this was my uh, attempt to be everywhere, everything, everywhere, all at once. Your outfit. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. All done? Yep. Bye. Bye.